right, so this number one featherweight contender is no stranger to this setting. Tonight, though, he believes he's just a much better version of himself and finally has the goods and the chops to actually be a world champion. Sometimes you get there, John, you're just not ready. It's not easy to become the best in the world. The first time this man got here, he was a great fighter. He was good, but he just wasn't ready to be the best in the world. He said that the moment he got back home, he went to work to improve. He feels like all the improvements were made, and tonight he is the best featherweight the UFC had. And it does seem as though we have taken two-way action on this fight, but a lot of people believe in the challenger. Not just talking about his coaches, we'll see how it goes. been so many great undisputed featherweight champions in UFC history. Max Holloway, Jose Aldo, Alexander Volkanovsky, and this is the latest entrant, another guy who people believe could be just as special. John, think about the names that you just listed. These are three of the greatest names the sport has ever seen. And this man is starting to build a resume where he stands alongside some of the greatest featherweight champions of all time. He is just a beast of an athlete. He is a beast of a champion. And he believes that tonight, it will just be another notch on the belt as he keeps his championship belt. We asked him at the fighter meeting, is this title challenger the toughest fight of your career? He smiled and said no comment. Herb Dean, Ready our fight. referee for this one. All right, so here we go from Team Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the Team Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. From International Fight Week to championship fights all across the board, you come to T-Mobile. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Oh, side kick, well done. Circling towards the left. Unable to land with that punch. Slips. And there's that jab. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. They're so evenly matched, they're going tip to tap. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Throws that deep and it lands. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Straight punch. That is useful. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Lindsay, quick jab. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Connected with a solid punch right there. 
Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Big inside kick. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, he heard a battle with the jab. Definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. That was great head movement. Oh, man. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice job to control the range and using his reach advantage to, that, to get that punch on. Eats a jab there. Nice shot there by the champ. 30 seconds to go in this one. Nice body kick. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? You ready. Here we are, early round two. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we weren't going to get to this next round. Here we are. We will see the extent to which he has recovered. Let's see how he recovered over the course of that minute. They were putting water over his head. They were trying to bring him back. But I would advise him to switch a lot in the first minute of this round to try and give himself a little bit more time to get back to the strike to the body really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds kick to the body now that one won't land oh big shot man So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring work, come on. He should have got the fight finished at that time. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. Well, he's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Oh, connects with the one, two. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. 
He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. They do hurt. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Man, his sidekick is just killing the soft right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Landed that one. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. And he continues to work the body here. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Establishing the jab. down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of time. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Ooh. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. 20 seconds to go. Oh, right he ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Final seconds. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Uh, Two rounds in the books. Uh, hey, stop. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. His nose is significantly damaged after his opponent's handiwork in that previous frame. It's smashed. It's smashed, John, and you see the cut on it. You see the bruising. What's, it's bad now, but in a couple days, it'll be much worse. Yeah. Because that's when you get the black eyes and you start to look like a freaking penguin. The guy is taking too many shots with his head. Ready. He's not doing a great job of moving his head off the center line. If he wants to win this fight, he has got to be smarter in his approach. And he is toughness personified, but you got to think that that nose, in terms of his breathing pattern, is going to start to give him issues as this fight presses on. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, we've got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Superman punch now. Oh, nice. 
Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Lands a nice jab there. Nice job landing another left punch. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ. Perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision. Oh! Big right hand there. Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He still hurt. That one landed clean. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, out. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp strike in his arm. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Good defensive vision to block that punch. Good kick. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Under a minute now to go in the round. Nice body shot there. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Man, he is unrecognizable as far as that midsection is concerned. Might have a fractured rib. He's gonna be urinating blood for a week. <laughs> this dude's in trouble. He's in trouble. Hey, for as bad as it is right now, and this fight may get stopped because of this damage, Tomorrow will be much worse. This guy does not have much fun to look forward to in the next few days. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? You ready? Go we have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there, and... Not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling 
that is forming on his opponent's face. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Fighters starting to open up a little bit. Nice hook. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Check that last one. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Out of range with that one. Under three minutes now to go in the round. The straight right is there. Another oh, man. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Under two minutes here to go round four. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Tries to work it into a takedown. All right, so the referee steps between the two fighters. They are going to call on the doctor to look at that nose, and I'm fearful this is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, it's bad. There's a lot of blood. You can see him almost mouth wide open, gasping for air. I'm not even sure how the doctor's going to be able to find that cut under all the blood, but he did, and it looks as though, given the location, he's going to allow the fighter to continue, at least for now. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to get out. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart ringside officials that make a determination. The determination is get your butt out there and fight. Let's see what happens. And we have a very smart fighter who is going to have to start protecting that injury to prevent it from getting any worse. Under a minute to go in round four. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. remaining here in round four. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. If your opponent oh. has in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. 
All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's going to have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Do you believe it? This next round is underway in the previous round. Both fights. Oh! These guys are leaking all over each other. Punch over the top. shot there and he blocks the shot there oh man that cut looks terrible he's bleeding like crazy I would See him limping a little bit. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Oh, collar tie. Oh, man, you got to credit him for continuing. Oh, and he got some momentum behind him there. Postures up and lands a huge elbow. Making all these shots count. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the armbar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Beautiful shot to the leg. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Punch coming, it's blocked. And off that jab. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. And doing work with the jab. Oh! And then oh! the fight, really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.